Hi there, I'm Kimberly and you are watching At Home with the Kids, your fun place to be for the crazy, the magical, and the exhausting moments of being at home with the kids. We invite you into our home to laugh, to learn, and to breathe a sigh of relief as you relate because we are all in this at home with the kids thing together. How do we get our kids to stop arguing? This is something that we worked on so much when our kids were young. We were determined to have the atmosphere in our home that was joy and peace and not strife. Now, we are real humans with real emotions and real frustrations and needing time to be alone. But I'm here to tell you that your consistency will pay off. This time at home in quarantine during COVID-19 has proven that our consistent effort to stop the arguing amongst our kids has paid off. We really have had a blessed, sweet time of fun and peace. The first thing that we did was to stay calm when an argument broke out. We cannot correct our children with the same wrong behavior that we are telling them not to do. We asked each child, how did you dishonor your sister? Or how did you dishonor your brother? Then we asked, how can you make it right? Because each had a part in the argument, both needed to have a part in making it right between each other. We have taught them to say, please forgive me for dishonoring you. Not, I'm sorry I hit you, but please forgive me for dishonoring you. Because that's the heart of the argument, is dishonor. Then the child wrong says, I forgive you, I bless you, and I release you. I forgive you, meaning I won't hold this against you. I won't stay angry. I will let it go. I bless you, means I love you. You mean so much to me. You are my friend. I release you, means I won't bring it up again. I won't hold it against you any longer. When they say, I forgive you, I bless you, and I release you, then joy and peace returns to the home. And they're back to playing again happily as they were. It was always important to us to handle the strife, the argument right away, there, in the moment. If we were too angry or too frustrated, we took a moment to calm down, but we didn't go long before making things right. And as adults, we demonstrated this please forgive me for dishonoring you, and I forgive you, I bless you, and I release you when we found ourselves in an argument. All of this we had learned from Danny Johnson and her Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This program has been a huge blessing to us. There is so much more that we can talk about in terms of helping our kids to stop arguing. So I invite you to join us this Thursday for our Q&A Thursday, where we dive into this just a little bit more. I want so much for you to enjoy peace in your home and children who love to be together and aren't quick to argue. What is one thing that was shared in this video today that you will do with your kids? It's not too late to start. It's not too late to teach them that their arguing is dishonoring and that you're gonna work together as a team to honor each other and to work through your arguments. If you like this video, would you share it with a friend? We are in this at home with the kids thing together. Would you like more helpful resources like these? Some real mom mess ups and wins that we only share in email? Go to speaklifebadges.com and sign up as our email friend. Remember, stay intentional. Your kids need you. They want you. You are enough. You are faithful, you are consistent, and you can help create that atmosphere in your home that is one of joy, peace, and fun. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to seeing you next week on At Home with the Kids.